I'm Gigi, this is Pikmin 4, and that is a big mama. Oh boy, huh, there must be a castaway nearby. But she is sleeping. Ooh, <laughs> one, I have to beat her to continue forward. That's threatening that there's just like enemy walls now, jeez. Hi, big mama, Empress Ball Blacks. That is... Hmm, I don't know how to feel about this. I feel like they made the birthing hole even more, like... It's more prompt... Is it more prompt? Ah, I should stop looking at it. Wake up. Wake up, drink. Hey, get off her! No boss music? Okay. Whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. Oh, there it goes. Are rocks gonna fall from the sky? No? You're just level one Empress Bull Blacks, aren't you? I like this music, it's pretty funky. You don't want to get squashed by that. No, I don't. Everyone, back to me. I've done this so many times before. She's taken a lot of health, though. Maybe I should spicy spray. Actually, that'd be a good idea. I have a shit ton of spicy sprays. Let's do it. Go, 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 go. Get 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 Ah, ah, scary. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Ooh, good thing she threw them to the right. Okay. Yeah, she's got a lot more health this time around. Or just a... More of a tendency to shake off my Pikmin super fast. Still, not very scary. It's when... Ooh, Ochi might be- Ochi will like automatically attack enemies, maybe, if I leave him behind her when we start having an Empress Ball Black that will have babies. I love the noises she makes. They're very <laughs> guttural. <laughs> Alright, you're dead now. Big Mama down. BAM! Is she gonna explode? Ooh, no, she shrinks this time around. And, like, falls over backwards. Interesting. Everyone. Just everyone. Hey, you can do more than that. Come on. And we've got some, like, casino chips back here. Okay, let's see that ID badge. Puddle from Inohe. A universal stylist. A stylist with clients all over the universe. Just say the word and he'll unleash his fashionable skills at lightning speed. So that's how, is that how we're gonna like, um, redo our captain if we're, if we feel like it? He must have had a reason for coming to the planet. Curious. Well, we'll figure out that, we'll figure that out after you get him back here. Did he really want to style Captain Almar? Like, what's up? Are these like casino chips? Looks like it. It's funny that they're just sitting back here behind her. Pop. Just let those get back. And I like how this is pretty much the exact same layout as the arena from Pikmin 2. And collect that last one. That's all of them. Right? Yeah. Deeper we go. Not even a threat, the Empress Bolt Blacks. Easy as ever. Just, I say that, and eventually we're going to have to face Empress Bulblax with babies, so that's that's where things get dicey. Ooh. Yeah. Because when I do Empress Bulblax at the end of Frontier Cavern, I always have a captain go through, take out all the babies. I'm very, I'm very proactive about taking out the babies. Speaking of babies... Okay, this is... So we have slightly grown-up larva now. We have actual young bulborbs. Which is <laughs> very cool that they're finally doing that. I guess not finally doing that, but really like putting it into action that dwarf bulborbs are bread bug relatives. And not, um, young bulborbs. They're fake bulborbs. And now we have actual young bulborbs. Okay, there's this bastard. Okay, I think... We're going to... Get him! 
Nice, you're down. That's so good. That is overpowered and I love it. That is definitely the way to go through thing with things. Ochi is pretty goddamn overpowered. Strong puppy. Boom. I wonder if we're ever going to be able to have more than 100 Pikmin. That is an interesting possibility. What is this? Oh, it's a fire geyser. It was just not active. Okay. Set some rocks off on this, and Ochi can go through there. Interesting. So we have... Okay, Ochi's got to go through here to get that button to get another rubber cutie. Gotcha. Is that just back to base? Yeah, so we can start picking up things. I don't think that was 10. I just threw a few at it. There we go. Okay, and then we're gonna need more guys here. Um, how do I... this button. I'll eventually learn my button setup. Oh, wrong button. In you go, Ochi. Come out here and press the button. Arr. Boom. Um, this button. Worst I can do is accidentally disband my Pikmin, though, because I'm getting good at knowing it's only left or right. Is this not the same rubber cutie? Looks like it's the same universal rubber cutie. Right, and we've got a bunch of gold nugs here. Minecraft gold nuggets. Going mining in the nether. Alright, and what can I find through here? That's the question. I saw the whip tongue over here. Okay, but I lowered this. So, I'm going to... Is that whip tongue bulb we're going to come over here? It might. I think I'm going to test out... Just... Oh, wrong button. Um, left. Yes. I'm just going to leave everyone here, and I'm going to see what these guys can do. Okay, are they... I think they're just more dwarf bulb orbs, but real. Real young bulb orb. Gotcha. Having a bunch of them right around the whip tongue is threatening. How do I want to go about this? Pick them off one by one. Yo, scrunch him! Scrunch! Okay, get scrunched. That's one of them scrunched. Okay, you're scary. I see you, you're coming for me. Ooh. Hey, 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 hey! Yo! Oh. Right. I lost three when I could have lost one. Okay, how about you try your damnedest and you get punished. Nice. Giant <laughs> candy cane in him. And take these out. Boom, 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 boom. Alright. Yeah, whip tongues are scary. That's for sure. Especially with these dwarf bulb orbs around. Not something to mess around with. But I think that's everything. Pop that open for funsies. Is that is everything going to... Is the treasure gauge going to die? Yes. That's everything. Lost three pick... I've lost five Pikmin to this cave so far. Not my favorite, but... You know, I've lost more in Pikmin 2 caves. <laughs> yeah, Pikmin 3 added some enemies that are pretty scary. So the bloom on my phone, please, just be a little calmer phone. I am so annoyed about the Switch Lite not having a proper, like, video card that I can use a video capture card with. Ugh. Oh, whatever. Oh, nose. Oh, nose. She's wandering. Okay. Okay. But I can hide in these. I'm worried about... She's pretty slow looking. But... She is no pushover. Oh, oh she's gonna pick up another one. Ugh. How do I... How close can I get? 
Get him, get him, get him. Oh, she's, she keeps going. She didn't notice. Get him, get him. Oh, you're stupid, mama. You're stupid, mama, bull bear. You're done for. Boom. Ooh. Get, oh, she had three chance totems in her. Dang. And these are, like, pretty tiny dice. The chance totem in Pikmin 2 is pretty big. All right. And this is our way back. I just want to make sure everything is safe. Okay. Good, 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 good. There's some rocks at this. One more. Oh. Or they can... Okay, so 15 rocks and they, like, break instantly. Noted. Oh, good. And I kind of forgot that these guys regen HP in Pikmin 2, but it doesn't look like they do that in this game. Which is a relief. I did not need her waking up suddenly when I wasn't prepared. Okay, Ochi makes things easy. That's good, I like that. Okay, that button is going to release the hounds. Um, they're going off. So you guys will go the right way, right? Hopefully. And press unbreakable, it would seem too bad. What's unbreakable? Ah! <laughs> it's got a, like a cartoon falling sound. Oh my god, that's so good. I haven't heard that on anything else that's fallen so far. It's just a cartoon falling sound. I love that so much. Are you gonna go this way? You're gonna go this way. I don't want you guys going this way yet. I have to clear enemies ahead. Hey, 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 I see you. Oh, you can drop. Oh, you're dumb. You're, you got wrecked. That was awesome. The lock-on is so good for flint beetles. Come on, make it through. And you're stupid. Everyone with me. And that's everything. Oh, com is that Comfort Cookie? Or is Comfort Cookie the big one? No, yeah, this is Comfort Cookie. The big one is Succulent Mattress. So, Flint Beetle... Yeah, Flint Beetles drop materials this time around. Interesting. And one more. And this rock can help with these guys. And I just need to bring some back for the buried cucumber. Nice. Let's go, everybody. We've got things to do, places to see, places to be, bosses to fight. There's totally going to be a boss. Like, if they're going to throw an Empress Bullblax in the middle of the cave, there's going to be something at the end. And I feel like it's going to be a scarier Empress Bullblax. You guys got that, right? Cucumbered up? Or is that like a zucchini? Is that a zucchini or a cucumber? They, they're they like the same in my mind, honestly. I don't know which is which. Where am I going? Okay, this way. This way, this way, this way. And there they are with the zucchini, cucumber, whatever. One of the two. Throw it behind a cat, watch- Oh, whoa, don't miss these guys. Throw it behind a cat and watch the cat panic and jump into the air. Yeah, still at 90. Um, if I find 10 more, then we'll find out. Or a little more. If I find... They come in batches of 5, so... If I find 15 more, then we'll fig figure out if I can have more than 100. Having more than 100 would be insane. That's not a thing these games have ever even, like, pushed before. What do we have here? Hmm. No. Oh. Uh-oh. I know what those are. I know what those are. Are we gonna have a Matites like in Holy Heroes? I feel like I'm not supposed to be in this cave yet. This is kind of scary. Okay, um, everyone off. We need some drinkers. Yeah, there were no Emperor Bulblaxes. Gonna fight both of them. Jeez. I guess that means they know that these guys are a little weaker. But there were no Emperor Bullblaxes in Pikmin 3, so I guess we can figure out what rocks can do against them. I don't know which way I'm, they're going to turn up, though. Are they both going to... That's just... Ooh. Get him, get him. Just kill him. Just kill him. Ooh, I threw one, like, right under him. Oh. Ah, oh, he has, like, a scream. Oh, that's scary. That woke up the other one. Okay. This is no joke. I have to get into serious mode. Don't even think about it. 
Okay, I, I don't want to be too quick on the recall, or he'll like eat them as they're falling off his face. Oh, that's... Oh, jeez. That is... That is no joke. And when I'm on Ochi and it like kicks everyone off, that's scary. Uh-oh. Ooh. Oh. Okay, those two, I'm not worried about those two right now. Oh my lord! Oh. Jeez. Oh, this is... Oh my lord. They're not pulling any punches. Th these are the brutal Pikmin 2 caves that I missed. This is good. That approach doesn't seem to work. What do you mean that approach doesn't seem to work? I'm getting them. Okay. That scream it's got is scary. And you're down for the count. Oh my god, I lost seven Pikmin. Oh, and it's just... Oh, wait, this was final sub-level. I didn't even read that. Oh my god, it's... So, that means that, um... This cave is the, um... It must be the Emperor... The Bulbox Kingdom, but, like... Mm, now. <laughs> Or I guess before, because I'm thinking this is a, like, Pikmin 2, it's between, it's like at the end of Pikmin 1 is when this game is taking place. The end of the Pikmin 1 bad end. Mika from Nikki, Uncharted Planet Tourist, a new teacher at Alion, perhaps, Academy, who's putting her liberal arts degree to good use as advisor to the Planetary Science Club. A school teacher? Did she come here as part of an educational field trip? Oh, but then that means other teachers and students from the school could be stranded here too. We better get the whole story from her as soon as we can. Yeah, hopefully she went off solo. Okay. Um, <laughs> just the couple of fire geysers. Yeah. What is it this time? That's looking different. I didn't realize- I didn't even read that this was the final sub-level. Yeah, that's... Yeah, two- uh, they knew one Emperor Bull Blacks is no threat, but two together with that scream attack? That's scary. So, being on Ochi kind of wasn't the play there, because when they screamed, that knocked me off Ochi and I couldn't whistle everyone. So that's interesting. Okay, just get some reds up here. Don't need too many, but I'm gonna send a bunch of them up there anyway. Um, okay, everyone come back here so no one tries to like go in the water by accident. I do like that they are taking backs, or they are returning... Um, ugh, words. I like that some of the exact sub-level layouts from Pikmin 2 are returning in this game. It, it's, it feels very nice. And it's not the gyroid bust this time, that's for sure. Unless it's like a new gyroid bust. I kind of can't tell what it is exactly. What are you? It might be like a new gyroid or something. Because I know there's a lot of types of gyroids. I don't really know what gyroids are. I just kind of know what they are from Animal Crossing and Pikmin 2. <laughs> the one Pikmin 2 treasure. So, alright. That should be everything, right? Cave, my treasure meter is going to go dead. Right, in just a second here. Yes. I think that's everything. Alright, successful adventuring. Nice. <laughs> Everyone flying up. Feels good to see that again. Oh, I wanted to check if the, um, like, Kate, like, um, in both Pikmin 2 and this game, in the very first cave, when you see a, a geyser, or in this game, the fans, it does a cutscene where it, like, pans up and there's a hole in the ceiling. But, um, that hole in the ceiling in Pikmin 2, it's only there in Emergence Cave, and it's never above any geysers ever again. So I wanted to see if it's like that in this game too, or if there's always a hole above those big fans. And we have so many treasure names to read. Let's do it, let's do it. Bring me back to the start and we work our way to the right. Flaky Temptation, um, another memory fragment, which, oh, that's not an animal face, that's an animal paw. And there's like something in the foreground, I think. 
ambiguous goo. We have a lot of goo treasures. The anxious sprout, that's right. Disc of joyous wisdom. Planetary rubber cutie. I don't know how this differs from the um, universal rubber cutie. Sweet stumble knot. Maybe this is smaller and the universal rubber cutie was bigger. Chance totem, cookie of prosperity. Crew cut gourd, an ancient statue head. Gotcha. I think the rubber cuties, it's all size based, and they're a bunch of different sized rubber duckies. That's cute. So the universal is the biggest, and the stately might be the smallest. Or maybe we'll find an even smaller one. Let's see. Lost 12 reds. Not my finest, but I've lost way more in the past. I am not particularly careful in caves, <laughs> that's for sure. That I could have lost way more. I think I did pretty good. That Emperor Bullblack's fight was crazy, and I had to think about new tactics on the fly, which I didn't do a good job at. But <laughs> like they weren't to, like two Emperor Bullblacks, it wouldn't have been too bad, but. Adding in their ability to scream and make even Ochi panic, that screwed me up. Right. Um, I think we're going to try to break... I'm going to just like rush to that one ice gate that's nearby and just try to break it. Um, sure. Let's see, but we might be... Yeah, we're countdown. So it skips you to nine on the countdown. Yeah, no, that's way over there. I'm never making it there. Um, okay, that's... Yeah, very, very successful day six. Was that day six? I think so. Crazy. Let's see, I'm not even going to try to nectar anyone because I don't want anyone to die. And we've got 306 material... We are rolling in the sparklium and the raw material. And back at base. Let that music play! I like how the ice pikmin, they're a little bit round. Like, they have the sort of... Um, rock shape as the rock pikmin, but they're more defined. It's like they're a little more carved than the rock pikmin, which I think is fun. I am never going to lose a single Pikmin to Sunset. You can't make me. Ooh, very exciting day. I think I might have gotten some treasures on a treasure or two on the surface, so we'll have some more treasure names to read. I love treasure names in these games. They're so good, so enjoyable. Yeah, I got the Searing Acid Shock on the surface, so it better still be the Searing Acid Shock. Everyone's here. I like how we're gonna have a big, like, over time, everyone's gonna be here to, like, wave us in as we arrive. Lots of rescues. One's a leafling, though. And we got four pup drive. Oh, yeah, I, there was one right at the start. Lots and lots of names. Wows. <laughs> 6281, not bad. Cook, this is the Cookie of Prosperity. Is that... is that right? I don't remember the Cookie of Prosperity. Wait, yeah, the... Exiting the cave didn't show me all the treasure names, did it? It only showed me some, like, recent ones. Am I just dumb? I don't know. Cookie of Prosperity, Chance Totem, Sweet Stumble Knot. Interesting. Uh, what else? Yeah, Searing Acid Shock, Unfloatable Boat. Mechanical Harp Memory Song. Heat Sensor, Hoopy Healing. That is a Thermometer. It's a Thermometer, GG. Masterpiece Plank. And Orbital Communication Sphere. <laughs> uh, so, that reminds me. Because the joke there, I think, is, you know, um, like hitting a golf ball and it just flies into the sky. I have no idea if this is if this story is really true, but my grandpa has a story that he was golfing and he like you know hit the golf ball and it goes flying and it hits a bird in the middle of the air <laughs> i have no clue if that's true but i really hope it is it's it's a whimsical if it is true all right good good success 
We're, we jumped up to 68%. I can probably finish the whole area in another day. But I might want to return to Blossoming Arcadia to pick up the blue onion. I'm kind of hurting for blues. Yanni's back, Captain. Seems like we're making progress. Well done, Gigi. So, where is he then? We need to discuss the leafling situation as soon as possible. Um, the thing is, after the forced sleep mode was lifted, he kind of went right back to sleep. I think he'd been examining a plant that only appears at night, so he was pretty sleep deprived. Seriously? He was out walking around at night? Here? It's ridiculously dangerous. I suppose I should be grateful that he's still alive. Huh? That's strange. I put a bottle right here. Where did it... Dingo! You didn't drink that liquid that was sitting right here, did you? Did you? Hey, don't shout at me like that. But yeah, I was thirsty and was right there, so I give it a try. Who cares? Well, that was the medicinal ingredient that Yanni was using in his experiments. And you never thought to mention that until now? Uh, why do I suddenly feel very hot? Are you alright? Maybe you should go lie down too, Dingo. I suggest we put this meeting on hold for the time being. <laughs> I like these guys. They're pretty nice. Alright. Um, yeah, we've got all sorts of things going on here. See, an ode to science. I just want to make sure I know what these all are. Good Pikmin, find 50. Oh, so this upgraded to 50, and I'm one short. Fuse three onions. Yeah, okay. Gameplay guide. Oh, I pressed minus, and okay, I'm ending it here because the thing's about to go. Um, don't ignore that. Next time we'll do day seven. <laughs> See you then.